Good morning. This is the eighth day of my roof project. And no, you actually know how to count. But yesterday I decided to clean around the house. And even though I only did, let's say, half of it, because I only managed to clean the straw from around here and in front of the kitchen and the pieces of wood and of um, plastic foil from the membrane. The only thing that I managed to do is to uh, dismantle the structure that looks like this. It is on legs. So now it's early. I'll have to wait a little bit more for the sun to come up. So I'll be, have a warmer area in here. But until then, I'm just able to uh, detach all this membrane that I put over. So I'll have a dry roof because from the um, humidity during the night, everything gets wet. And then I'll start finishing this. And uh, I'll continue with the roof of the of the kitchen. We'll see how it works because also I like to continue with cleaning on the other side of the house, where we still have this pile of wood and of straw, and I dislike this kind of uh, space, but. Um, it works actually fine. It takes me much more than I expected. And I presume that the guy that offered to um, to do the waterproofing from for the house, either would have given up or would have risen the price uh, at uh, such an unaffordable uh, value that I would have uh, said thank you, but no thank you. Regardless... I'm happy with the results and I'm very interested in how the second layer, uh, the solution for the second layer will be because today it's Sunday and I haven't spoke to the representative of the company that makes the waterproofing. So we'll see about that. Until then, let's start working on this first i will show you how i dismantled the structure from yesterday how exactly do i do this I am, how can I explain this? Um, I'm measuring sides of the roof. It has 11 sides in this case. And for each side, I measure the width, adding 10 centimeters on one side and more or less nothing on the other because I want to overlap this side over this so the next one will overlap over this in 10 centimeter and so on and so forth so i do this because basically the way the water flows is like this so i want this to flow over this so now i'm measuring this width so in here i have something like 103 so i will measure 115 and since the um, the tape the tape the the membrane is this uh, size is one meter then it will mean i will need to make a new measurement in here after uh, i apply this but before i do this I will apply some primer on top of this 
because um, yesterday was uh, very windy and because of that it uh, got full of dust so if I apply now the primer until I go and I unroll the membrane and I cut it and I come back everything will be perfectly fine it will take me something like 50 minutes or something so it will have time to dry course it will not take me 15 minutes to to cover this nor to cut one one piece of uh, Of membrane but I will uh, apply also for the next uh, sides of the roof the primer so this way it will take me 15 minutes as you can see just just took me something like one minute or whatever you can see better on your uh, timeline and I'm not actually very careful with how much do I apply because it was already covered. So this layer is mostly like uh, dust off of the of the surface. Since it already has primer applied, I am just more or less cleaning the the surface. Every roll comes with um, two two tapes, one at the top and one at the bottom, <laughs> explaining what it is. This says it's three millimeters, three millimeters thick, and this one says that. It is a self-viewing membrane, uh, probably for uh, accounting purposes. It also have this uh, um, this code in here. So every time I have to unroll the membrane on a flat surface. So I can work with it and then I, I'm measuring the width I decided so it was 115 hopefully if I remember correctly okay so I put it in here and then it's pretty hot since it's black and since it stayed in the sun all day long so have the first cut and even though it is three millimeters thick since it's a warm day probably it's something like 35 in the sun or something like that hopefully less at this hour
I can cut pretty easily this membrane that has um, uh, I don't know how it is called some uh, reinforcement PE reinforcement I don't know how it is called Okay, now I got my, um, my membrane. Before I do anything, I take my brush. So, as few strobe particles as possible will stay in the way. Since I had a straw roof there is always something that comes off so good luck to me okay now I have my surface okay so I'm looking down here to have something like 10 centers centimeters more or less and up here we have something similar which I do not have at the moment something like this <laughs> we have a bit like this a little bit Okay, now I have it in place. I probably could cut this small corner, but it doesn't matter that much. So, what you will you do is uncover a piece, attach it as well as possible to the support surface. Do the same thing from the bottom. Look what happens underneath. So you are sure that there are no pieces that remains in the middle. And then we continue with Since I don't have a roller for this, I use my slipper. This is a croc like kind of shoe that is soft, so it doesn't damage the surface. This is it. Rinse and repeat until you finish the roof. These are my trusted tools. And this is was what was left of today's uh, roof. So what I learned in the last few days is that it's basically impossible with this kind of shape to apply more than um, 
two rolls of uh, waterproofing, which means that regardless that I applied uh, primer on this entire surface, I was only able to do this first triangle, and then I went to the other side and applied this until the top, which top is yippa, here. From this point, the water either goes that way or that way. And this is only 10 square meters. So one roll in the morning and one roll in the morning there and around here and one roll in the evening around here and on that side. So basically from now on, I cannot plan for more than 20 square meters a day. And that will be something like 20, 10 square meters in the morning and 10 in the evening. In the morning, it's too wet to work easily. So I cannot start at six o'clock or something like that. And even then it is too cold for the membrane to easily stick. And during the day, between something like 11 and five, it is too warm. Basically the waterproofing is burning under your feet and is not suitable for working. And then in the evening, even though I could continue from this hour forward, it is uh, uh, too cold again. So it's, it sticks with difficulty. Probably like you can do something like two point something rolls, but it's not that big of a deal. So today we finished this. We finished the intersection between this roof and this roof, which I'm very happy about it. Uh, so probably for tomorrow, I either take out this and resolve the situation around there with the intersection between the waterproofing of the hill and the waterproofing of the roof, which I do not know exactly how to do. Or I do nothing in regards to this and in regards to waterproofing, I mean. And I dismantle the entire roof from here, which is, I'm really, really, really afraid of doing because I'm not sure I have enough waterproofing. And if I don't, that means I'll have to wait for a few days to for the waterproofing to arrive so i'll see what i will decide until then have a nice day and goodbye